Welcome to the dream ladies and gentlemen. I am your host the Mashi, and we're back for some more Opera Omnia. Time to pull for Ignis, but before that let's do our free pull on the Kasha, Noctis Banner. I have everything for both of them except Noctis Burst, but I wouldn't expect it after the way Noct treated me last time. Maybe I'll finally snag Selfie X. Hot damn. I wasn't expecting that. Hopefully this doesn't take away from my Faris LD banner luck. Now to move on to Opera Omnia's very own Chef Tonio, Ignis. Alright let's try the free multi. Hopefully Ignis is willing to cook for me. A blue orb. Not feeling confident. God damn it anchored. Even when you aren't featured you still troll me. I saved my free ticket for this. I still haven't gotten a free burst off one of these yet. I'm convinced it's a myth. The myth continues. Err. Uh, my poor ticket, Stash. Devoured by April, Solis, Tira, and Garland. It would ease my suffering if you liked the video, shared it around, commented down below on how your pulls went, and subscribed to the channel. Oh and hit the bell for notifications, or some such. I just hit 200 subs, and am working on a celebration video, so look forward to that. Hey, Urania 15 CP and Ignis EX I don't have either ML bead so this will be useful. I have Ignis other gear maxed out so this is just a power stone. Hey another gold orb. Please come home and cook for me Ignis. I'll even be happy if you only fix water for me. Not a bad haul. That's Lion's 35 meters L bead, a power stone, and I think Ignis XML bead. Rubbish. More garbage. Another gold. Could this be it? Yes, finally, some good fucking food. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. Welcome to the dream, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Tamashi, and we're back for some more Abramnia. Figured I'd do my intro again as myself and not a text-to-speech abomination since I'm wide awake. So the reason behind the way the poll video uses text-to-speech is I was initially going to be doing my polls for Ignis on stream as well as my uh, going through Abyss. And I woke up late and I woke up tired and I just didn't want to do any talking. So that's why I did it all off camera, all off stream. This Abyss... I'm not going to beat around the bush. This Abyss is really, really easy. Especially compared to 3 and 4. In fact, I think they're trying to over... This is feels like they're trying to overcompensate for the response of Abyss 4. Which I think is a little bit overblown. I don't think Abyss 4 is anywhere near as bad as Abyss 3 was on release. And I have to stay on release. You were not carrying a 15 CP Mog through Abyss 3 on release. Or if, rather, for a rap comparison, you weren't going to carry a 15 CP Ferris or a 15 CP Lock 
through that abyss. It's just not going to happen. You didn't have as many strong characters as we do now. Power creep is a real thing. So if you could do Jax Lufenia, you can do this fight. This fight is basically the exact same. It has the exact same orb conditions, the exact same cleanses at the exact same moments. The only difference is you don't get a friend unit. And of course you are locked into using effectively what the synergy was. So the synergy for Jax Lufenia was Jack, Ramza, and Ignis. And if you use the synergy for that fight, you can use the exact same team here. Now you don't have to use that. Uh, what I used, I'm trying to remember what I used for Jax Lufenia first time around. It was Ultimecia, Kefka, and Arden. And I just decided to just run a similar team to that. I hadn't run a Ultimecia in a while on the channel, so I figured I'd run her here again. Since, you know, I ran her here the first time, I might as well run her again. And we got Jax, not Jax Aldi, uh, Keys Aldi. So, thought I'd bring him. And I have Onion Knight's BT. And Onion Knight's a really fun character to play, and I haven't used him in quite a while, so I figured I'd run him. That's gonna be it for me. This fight's... I'm gonna be honest, this fight feels too simple for me to even really give commentary for. There's re You're not gonna struggle on this. If you made it to this fight, you will beat it. Just make sure that you can bring a- just bring some type of melee unit to deal with the orb. And you don't even need to do that, if you can DPS it hard enough with magic. You don't even have to worry about the orb. In fact, I almost, with a team of Keys, Noctis, and I'm trying to remember who the third was. Keys, Noctis, Aerith, I almost dps raced it down. The only reason that run isn't what I up, I'm, up, I'm uploading now is because I figured this run would be more fun. And the other run, I kind of tripped at the finish line, made a couple of mistakes that cost me the run. Right near the start, actually. Very poor uses of knocked LD, very poor uses of his EX, and the or and as a result, the orb on B went off right before I could deal with the killing blow. But if you don't screw up like me, that team will work as well. In fact, there are a lot of teams that work for this. You're, you'll see plenty if you just search on YouTube. I'm sure many content creators have already done several different runs. Many of them probably going to run lightning because lightning will destroy this stage. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. All right. I guess I'll see you guys for Yang Lufenia, and I guess I'll do some pulls for Yang. And as long as I don't wake up late again, I will be doing those on stream. Till next time, guys. Later.
If you enjoyed the content of this video, please like the video, comment down below, share the video around, and subscribe to the channel, because it tells me you like my content and want me to keep making it. It also helps the channel grow. Until next time, later.